morning guys welcome back to power plant i'm just below hellos because i need to make some work today the first of all is repair and fix the old hole of the log that was installed here we already prepared all the surface inside and outside but for first i will start inside to repair the hole with epoxy resin and cloth I will use for sure some carbon because I have, so it will be more rigid. I will come out and, and I will fix outside, but to get the correct temperature, I will use the heater here and some nylon that close all this part of the board. So the warm rise up and we have the reaction of the epoxy. It's not very cold because it's about eight to 12 degrees today and we go to 15 but for be sure that work very well especially in this very important part of the boat i want that the reaction of the epoxy will be very strong and very sure so guys we start to do the task because today i have a lot to do as usually and the puzzle start again also today okay guys we start just now i already put on the heater inside because i need some warm and we go in the bow cabin and this is the hole that i need to close this is mahogany uh, top that uh, i glued before but i will cover with epoxy it's about one millimeter thick so we start now i need to glass a little more here to make a perfect contour inside Okay, I need to get the correct size of the fiberglass I need to cut using a nylon and a pen and make all around the contour of the hole I need to tap. It's time to cut the fiberglass using the template that I already did. I did my best to make the perfect cycles. I try to do my work in the best way possible. I need to have a very solid fiberglass when cured. Now I'm cutting the last piece that need to be more bigger. Checking for the last time, all correct and all perfect. I give another sand to get the perfect surface to bond the cloth and the epoxy resin. This is a very delicate part of the board, the bumping on the water, on the waves, so strength must be the first things on my mind. And of course, a good cleaning with acetones and I am ready to glass the cloth on the hull.
Masking the surface with nylon and tape is very important to avoid dangerous patch of epoxy on the furniture. So I pay a lot of attention when I do this work because I don't want to come back and uh, warnish again my furniture. And also in this case, guys, I use the best product around, the Checky System 1010 CFS. For my opinion, one of the best epoxy resin around. It works also in the cold temperature and the bonding is incredible. Using the microfiber mineral, they make a very strong material to bond the cloth on that hull. So guys, I don't want someone to write me, why you don't use the mask? This is the mask, so I save my lungs. I would like to thank the guy that write a message and say that my epoxy work are very sloppy. I don't care about your comment guy, but I trust in my work and I never sink the boat with my epoxy work. So relax and enjoy the video I don't write bullshit please. First layer of epoxy to make a wet surface. First huge layer to cover the hole. I use the hot hair because I need to make more liquid the epoxy resin so the resin go very deep on the fiber, on the cloth. At least and not last, I use the epoxy with carbon fiber to get a very rigid layer of uh, fiberglass. Could be not necessary, but I use it. I got it and I use it. If you don't like, I don't care. I like it. And at the end, the peel ply that make a very smooth surface.
Okay guys, job done. Now we move outside. And here are the holes that I need to tap. First of all, we need to get the perfect shape of the hole using a nylon and a pencil. Another good time to cut all the circles of the cloth. Before using the epoxy, I need to give another small uh, sand of the hole, clean with acetones to be ready to use the epoxy resin. Another thing I did is create a chamber where the heater could warm up the air and the epoxy cure very fast. It's still cold, it's still winter, I have about 10 degrees, but I prefer to have 20 degrees just inside a, a temporary room, so for sure my epoxy cured very well. And this is the first layer that I apply on the hull. And now we start with the other ones. Using this roll to take out the bubble and using epoxy add with uh, mineral fiber I got a very good quality bonding epoxy okay friends so here is about 32 degrees Celsius and let the epoxy cure we will see soon what's happened so guys now we go inside and we will check if my work of yesterday epoxy and cloth worked and cured the hole we go Open. And this is the day after. We will check. Yes. A little sand because I need to flat down and also use some epoxy putty because I need after that paint all on white color. Okay, we see the result. Ta -da! And here we are. It's quite perfect. So the day after, the epoxy completely cured and now I need to sand the excess of uh, fiberglass that I glued. Uh, at the end, I need to use some epoxy putty to flat all the surface. I can say that the job is done, as usually, perfect and I'm very happy. So guys, here we are. I am in the approaching to change the water outlet of the main water tank. You can see on the video that the two small copper tubes are very, very small. And if I use the electric pump, the water flow is very reduced. For this reason, I went to a um, Vanni uh, factory that he made for me a chew outlet brand new made from stainless steel 316 with two different sizes. One is about 12 millimeters and the other one for the electric water pump supply is about 19 millimeter wide. So I have no problem for the flow that go through the hose. And now it's time to extract the second copper outlet. Oh, it's time to clean with the vacuum. And after that, I need to sand to make a very flat, nice surface.
five minutes from power plant there is the CMC is a company that uh, builds all the stuff in stainless steel and steel in any type of metal Vani is my old friend that sometimes helped me to make some stuff Vani is designed the piece that I need which will then be reproduced on the lathe from a single piece of stainless steel 316 You can see the piece of stainless steel and funny at phone. <laughs> We need to choose a very hard uh, tools to cut the stainless steel and here there are a lot. Now it's time to prepare the hole and after that drill all this stainless steel piece to permit the water to come through. And now it's time to prepare the thread on the stainless steel. Some oil to prepare the thread. This is the first step to make the thread. We use this system to get a very straight thread and after that we use another system. In this case we use the force of the machine, but now we use the force of the hand to get the last two turn of the thread. But we can see the job is done, the piece is perfect and ready to be installed. You can see there are two diameter. The small one is for the uh, water pump, uh, the pedal water pump that will be installed there. So I need a small one. And this is the big one that bring the water to the electric water pump. So there is a good flow of water that pass through this, uh, this huge uh, hole and there is no problem. So I'm very happy to make this uh, variation. Alberassi use those small 10 millimeters and less uh, water outtake. You can see this uh, 
flange with this uh, copper tube but I will use those in stainless steel is one piece so now I will glue with uh, epoxy made for purpose the big one for the electric water pump and the small one for the pedal water pump made by whale okay we start to glue I prepare the hole for the two new insect. After drill some small holes, I countersink to avoid a crack on the fiberglass. A good cleaning with acetones. I used to glue the stainless steel on the fiberglass, the 8040 that I already used for the rudder because it's very reliable and stitch very well to different type of material, example stainless steel and fiberglass. Three small screw, 2.9 millimeters, to fix the outlet on the fiberglass. Okay, one is fixed and now it's time to fix the second one. And for finish, a nice edge of 8040 to, to prevent the water to spill out from the stainless steel outlet and to give a perfect watertight seal. Finally finish, wait for cure and the new, the new connection are done. Perfect. We decided to change the outlet of the water tank for the problem with the flow, but also to make a very clear situation for the uh, bilge. I want to have a very easy access to the bilge for cleaning or for any other problem. This setup that Andrea did, I think is the best that we can do in this type of boat. We decided to use an inline uh, Norton valve for the food water so I can get always the full water on the hose. I don't need to pump too much to get water on the sink. You can see at the end a very clear access to the beach. So we see in the next video and for the moment is all. Ciao!